Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. We're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons and Desperation. It doesn't look very good for Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves at the box office this weekend. Of course, it's going to be sandwiched between John Wick 4, which is doing very, very, very well, and the Super Mario Brothers movie, which is going to destroy all the competition next week. Uh, it's not a good place for this movie to be. Maybe that's by design. I don't know. I don't know. But this isn't really uh, very good for Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast. Again, they're trying to recover from a massive PR black eye a couple of months ago with the OGL uh, 1.1 debacle. And a couple months before that with Bank of America calling them out for overproducing magic cards. And uh, this is coming hot on the heels of them doing their direct, uh, the D&D Direct 2023, where they announced a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, they're getting pretty desperate here, guys. They're bringing they're bringing Vecna back because Stranger Things, right? So they got to bring Vecna back because all the kids know Vecna. And um, speaking of uh, kids, Minecraft. <laughs> you got to do D and D Minecraft, um, you know, because of course, of course. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Mostly, we're gonna talk about the box office. Uh, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. And we also have to pay some bills around here, guys. So listen to this message from our sponsor. Before we go any further, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Private Internet Access VPN. It's dangerous to go on the internet alone. Here, take this. A VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network that protects and encrypts your sensitive data like passwords. It also hides your location so internet bad guys can't get a bead on where you're at. Or if you prefer, you can change your virtual location to get past region locked content on say your favorite streaming service. Paying for a streaming service but only being able to access a fraction of the content is like going to a restaurant and only getting samples. With PIA VPN, you can stuff your face with TV and movies from all over the world. So Rick and Morty is unavailable in the US, but if you change your location to the UK, using private internet access, it will immediately be available on your Netflix account. You can use one private internet access subscription to protect an unlimited amount of devices at the same time. All the content you can binge on and an extra layer of protection to keep prying eyes off your data. You really can't afford to surf without a VPN these days. Check out PIA VPN now at PIAVPN.com backslash clownfish. By clicking on my link in the description, you get 83% off on private internet access. That's just $2.03 a month, and you also get four extra months completely free. Again, that's PIAVPN.com backslash clownfish. Thanks to PIA VPN for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. Okay, guys, we are back. Um, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons, man. Um, yeah, so they did the... Uh, the uh, D and D Direct 2023, and this is uh, they're really trying to ramp things up to get ready for one D and I don't know how it's going to go, but they had a, a new Honor Among Thieves trailer. Uh, they're going to do Minecraft content. They're going to do D and D Minecraft crossovers. Um, they made a musical about learning how to play D and D. Now, this is the most current year D and D thing ever. One of the odder parts of the presentation was an animated musical number describing how newcomers can try D&D for the first time. Oh, God. Toys, Hasbro's making toys, and Vecna. Of course, you got to bring Vecna into it because of Stranger Things. And uh, yeah, so this is kind of reeking of, of desperation. Uh, in my personal opinion, they're trying everything they can try to get D&D to stick with the normies and to grow the brand beyond being, uh, you know, tabletop game for nerds. I mean, if they had it their way, if Hasbro had it their way, this would be nothing but a shitty mobile app. And that seems to be the direction they're, <laughs> they're moving in with one D and D. Um, and, uh, you know, again, the OGL one, 1.1 1 .1 debacle definitely cost them a lot of goodwill for fans. Now here's the thing. Is it going to cost them at the box office? Uh, I don't know. We did a video on this before that the movie was not tracking very well. And uh, now we've got more outlets saying that at best case scenario, we're looking at a $65 million worldwide opening. 
not domestic, but worldwide. And this, this movie costs like $150 million. And this was produced by E1, which is Hasbro's entertainment arm, their movie arm, and they are looking to sell that off. Now, to be completely fair, because we're going to get people in the comments being like, you just hate D&D and Watsy and you're evil clown fish. Our reviewer, Jake James Lugo, actually gave it a pretty good score. Um, he did. He saw it. He said the movie's actually not that bad. The problem is, eh, it's 7 out of 10. Um, the problem is that uh, very few people are even aware the movie's coming out. D&D is still not a, a brand that resonates with normies. It's still considered a geek thing, and uh, their core fan base is... Uh, pretty, pretty fragmented at the moment. I'm going to be nice. Um, but yeah, this is coming from the rap. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons faces a perilous quest to box office success. Uh, Paramount's fancy adventure has great reviews, but now it must sell itself to casual audiences who have never rolled for initiative. So uh, Honor Among Thieves has received rave reviews since it's South by Southwest premiere and has all the makings of a crowd-pleasing spring hit, but with a $150 million production budget, success is not a guarantee. At the start of the week, box office trackers were projecting an opening weekend in the low $30 million range, nowhere near enough for the blockbuster to turn a profit. Since then, reviews from critics have come in praising the film as a fun adventure, very accessible to audiences who have never played D&D, while rewarding fans of the tabletop game, with plenty of nods to the mythology of the Forgotten Realms. D&D was made for everyone, not just fans. That's one of the reasons why we went with this release slot. We felt that the South by Southwest premiere would provide the foundation for word of mouth that can keep spreading over the next few weeks, uh, Paramount told The Wrap. So far, the film is at 91% critical, 94% audience, with the latter coming from several dozen reviews from public sneak preview screenings last, this uh, past weekend. I actually... Uh, could have gone to it, but I didn't feel like driving, so I, I didn't go. With the buzz, tracking has risen slightly to 35 to 40 million. Um, so rivals tell the rap they think it might be on the upper end of that. That's still not enough. Um, that's still not enough. That's actually well well below Scream 6 and uh, not good. So they said a deal breaker could be made worse if John Wick Chapter 4 and the upcoming Super Mario Brothers movie end up being more direct competition to D&D than they anticipated. Uh, absolutely. Both of those movies cross into the uh, same demographic, right? And uh, Super Mario Brothers is going to appeal to a lot more than just families. In fact, um, we went out to buy tickets, and there are very few tickets to be found for Super Mario Brothers on opening day. It looks like it's going to be a huge hit. John Wick 4 is doing way better than anyone could have predicted. The movie's doing phenomenal. It's 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 doing very, very well. And, and a John Wick 5 is almost guaranteed at this point. I think that it's definitely gonna it's definitely gonna take a bite out of DD's business. Um on the flip side, there's a scenario in which DD is able to build momentum as a four quadrant blockbuster that carries it through the release of Super Mario Brothers next weekend and in April where the competition will be lighter until Guardians of the Galaxy 3 comes out. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think that's going to I don't think that's going to happen. If that happens, D&D could enjoy a run similar to Sony's Uncharted, which last year opened to 44 million in February and finished with a modest theatrical profit uh, of 148 million domestic and 401 million worldwide. Um, yeah, I don't know. So there are big differences. D&D has Chris P uh, Pine. Uh, Uncharted had Tom Holland just two months removed from Spider-Man No Way Home. Uncharted also came out in the far less crowded box office market. Um, if D&D can draw substantial walk-up ticket sales thanks to pre-release reviews and opening day audience buzz and secure an opening of at least $40 million, a profitable theatrical run is still on the table. In that case, it probably won't be until the weekend after the release of Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, so I, I don't know how it's going to do. I'm going to be completely honest. I can't say it's a terrible movie. Everybody I've talked to that's seen it actually said it's not bad. It's not a bad movie, but there's not a lot of buzz around it. And it seems like, I mean, I've seen some commercials for it, but it seems like Hasbro's not throwing the bucks at it. And again, the production company that produced this movie, Hasbro's selling it. They're selling it off. They put it up for sale before D&D &D came out. 
I think they know they're not going to make their money back on this movie, you know, and uh, it does look kind of desperate some of the stuff they're doing. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. You know, so, I mean, God, they got Transformers and Magic the Gathering now. It's like, let's just like cross promote all the Hasbro brands and the Hasbro verse. And it's just it's really, really dumb. So I again, guys, I don't know how things are going to go. I'm just really starting to feel that, you know, with Hasbro stock being down with them getting called out, uh, you know, by investors with them getting called out by their fans and then some of the weird shit that they're announcing that they're there definitely is some desperation uh definitely some desperation with dnd at this point and i don't think they know what to do with it um i don't know we'll see what happens we'll see how one dnd goes but i know that a lot of other competing game systems are, are picking up momentum it'll be really interesting to watch I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, please check out my link below. That's PIAVPN.com backslash clownfish. Uh, they're good people. They're supporting the channel. We'll talk to you later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.